Hey y'all, welcome back to another TikTok reaction video. I am excited. I mean, let's get into it. All right, here we go. Ooh. Wow. Oh, that roof is coming. Holy sh understood why people drive closer to tornadoes I, uh, I mean I just don't understand I mean thank you for the caption thank you for the video <laughs> but I know I wouldn't be going that close to no tornado <laughs> oh my gosh It, oh my gosh. Why is it so many? Look, my head, my head is itching. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is going on? Why is it so many crickets everywhere i mean the crickets were absolutely everywhere okay so obviously that was very very creepy like literally got my got my head itching oh my gosh oh oh my goodness the world's largest anaconda discovered in the Amazon Okay, well, first of all, I would like to say, I really don't know how long the snake was because I don't think it showed the whole thing. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know that snakes can breathe underwater. Can snakes breathe underwater? I guess I, I really don't know. I don't know if it was the longest one because I just I didn't see the whole thing, I don't think. It didn't look that long to me. Oh my goodness. You know, honestly, that reminds me of a few years back when it kind of had like that uh, that ice storm or the weather was interesting down there in Texas. And um, it was like a similar situation. A little ice. I mean, it's, it's different when you have a little ice in places where they're not used to having um, cold temperatures so like I kind of understand that I don't really know too much about China if they get snow hopefully I'm not making myself look extremely silly on this video but I really don't know if they get snow in China <laughs> so um, 
if it's something similar to how it was in Texas a few years ago, they don't have like adequate amount of um, snow trucks and things like that. It's a sad situation. And I, you know, I just pray that everything was okay with all the people that were involved. Okay, so obviously, I don't know what that man was saying. But I hope that he was praying. <laughs> I'm sorry. To me, I don't know what he was saying, but in, in my heart, <laughs> I felt like he was praying, trying his best not to get in the middle of that tornado. I mean, it was really interesting to see. I mean, I would be absolutely terrified to be stuck in the middle of that. Um, but that was definitely creepy. Let's go! Indonesia. To see all the debris going around the tornado, that is so creepy. Just because like, you see it in movies, but I know that was not a movie. That right there was real life. And that was definitely a little creepy to see, for sure. The Earth is not flat. The Globers were right. Well, not really. When we look at the definition of the adjective flat in the Oxford Dictionary, it describes a smooth and even surface without the presence of lumps or indentations. Of course, flat earthers don't believe this, as it is quite obvious that we have lumps and indentations all over the Earth in the form of mountains, valleys, and trenches. So in that sense, the Earth is definitely not flat. However, there is another definition of flat. When used as an adverb, flat that simply just means horizontal. This is what they mean when they claim that the Earth is flat. But why are flat earthers so convinced that the Earth is flat? Well, one of the main reasons would be water. The Earth is thought to be made up of just over 70% water, and with the human eye, is horizontal and level. It is within the natural physics of water and other liquids to remain flat when it is contained and undisturbed. Water at rest remains horizontal and doesn't have the ability to show convexity or any shape whatsoever. So how is it that on Earth, water is able to remain at rest if it is sticking to all sides of a rapidly spinning ball suspended in space? But what do you think? Is this argument convincing or are you still not buying? Oh my gosh. So, gosh, I don't even know how to respond to that. The earth is round, horizontal. Okay, first of all, the two different, the two definitions of horizontal is very, very interesting to hear in that aspect. Um, do I think that the world is round? Ugh. The scenario that they were giving when it comes to water not being able to, water being flat and I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't. I think that's a very creepy way to leave it just because, gosh, I just don't know. Okay. You got your girl stumped. I don't know. <laughs> you let me know what you think. I really don't know. <laughs> Have you heard this chilling theory behind the legendary Willy Wonka movie? This bizarre children's film has faced much scrutiny and has been subject to a plethora of fan theories. However, the theory that Willy Wonka is a serial killer stays number one. The theory claims that Wonka intentionally created this tour so that the children would either get injured or killed. The songs that the Oompa Loompas sing are 
extremely specific and would need time to rehearse beforehand. I've got another puzzle for you. Yes, that could just be the irony of the film. But listen to this. Each time they travel to a new destination, there's always exactly the right number of seats on the vehicle. Despite the number of guests decreasing as the tour goes on. And I mean, just look at the signs of crazy Wonka shows throughout the film. Even at the very beginning, there is a terms of agreement which states some pretty absurd happenings. But hey, at the end of the day, it's just a children's film. But the whole storyline of the film is one... Okay, I can definitely say like lately, especially when it came, it's coming to like the Willy Wonka Chocolate Factory in general, there are so many different aspects that have come out lately that is, it makes you question everything. I mean, you guys, you know, you let me know down in the comments, honestly, let me know because I feel like it has been so many different aspects to it. I mean, this this is crazy every i think a lot of the nostalgic things that we um had in our childhood it, uh, we gonna have to start squinting a little bit and turn to the side because it's all a little questionable okay let's get into it mediocre people don't like high achievers and high achievers don't like mediocre people so if everybody doesn't buy into the same principles and values of the organization and the same high standard you're never going to be successful. Just like our spring practice right now. You know what my goal with spring practice is? Get the right guys on the bus, get them in the right seats, and get the wrong guys off the bus. So one of these days, you're going to be working in an organization, and somebody's going to try to do that to you. So which one of those people do you want to be? Do you want to be somebody they're trying to get off the bus because you're satisfied with mediocre performance? Because you can never have any team chemistry in your organization if everybody's not committed to the same standard and the same things. You know, when I worked for Bill Belichick, we had one sign in the building. It was, do your job. And I, you know, you go in all these places and, you know, you see all these things. One sign. I don't want to be that person getting kicked off the bus. I always try my best to do my best in every situation um, because it's always better to stand out than to fit in. You know what I'm saying? It's so much better to stand out because at least that shows that you have something that is needed or something that that stands out that brings your unique quality i totally agree with what he's saying you let me know if you do too i want to take a second though just one second please like comment and subscribe thank you it's easy to give up you know, hell it's yeah easy. it's the easiest thing in the world to do all right man i'm, I'm done i ain't going oh, yeah. i ain't gonna keep going yeah the i don't feel thing. like going to work so I'm one, done. yeah man. it's easy it's very easy but what's hard is going Yo, yesterday, I got nothing from working as hard as I could be. Nothing happened from that. I'm going to do the same thing again today, but I'm going to try to go harder. When you had that third failure in a row, did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I just didn't quit. That's the only distinguishing quality from me and probably whoever else going through this or went through this or is going to go through this is that I ain't quit. I went through every emotion. I went through every emotion with trying to pursue what I'm doing. You know what I mean? And I think that what what gonna separate whoever's going trying to go for something is that you ain't gonna quit. I will never quit because if you quit, you're done. You may still be alive walking around on this earth. You're done. So true. So true. It definitely shows who has the, the determination and who is just there to be on the bandwagon because people who really go for things they go through all different emotions and they experience so many different things but those people that actually make it like that actually meet whatever pinnacle 
that they need to are the people that keep going when people say, oh, you can't do that. Oh, you shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? It's those people that strive for more. When you hear no, that doesn't mean quit. That means that you need to keep going. That means that you're probably hitting on something that someone else is like, oh, they can't do that because they know that they can't do it. Your determination of what you can do is up to you because you were giving that from our Heavenly Father. Just know that first off and period. Do not let nobody else deter you from your goals, from your aspirations, and from your dreams. Okay, I'm done with that rant. Let's keep going. Most chicken today has a lot of hormones in it. Cows have a lot of hormones in it. And some of it is natural hormones and the others are synthetically injected hormones. But when you eat the chicken, you eat the cow, you eat the hormones. And the unfortunate thing is the more and more you eat of that, it raises the estrogen levels in the body. And this is why you're seeing so many men who struggle with building muscle mass. So many men who are developing what are called man boobs. Yeah, yeah. Mastia. And then so many men who are balding. So many men who are having these what look to be like normal signs of aging, but it's really normal signs of deficiencies in testosterone. The last thing I want to do in this day and age is to do anything that lowers my testosterone. What we're eating today is very different from what our great-grandparents ate and especially our ancestors ate. It's just not the same anymore. It would typically take a chicken like six months to grow to full size. Now it takes 28 days. Most of these chickens, they're growing so quick. The unfortunate thing is they can't even walk because they they haven't developed the muscles enough to be able to walk because their size grew so hey <laughs> listen I love a strong man like a man's man and I do feel like society is doing certain things to not allow men to be men. I mean, what can I really say? I'm just being honest. This is just how I feel. Remember, this is just my opinion. So, I mean, maybe we need to start growing our own chickens. In most, um, in most places where you where you live, you're allowed to have chickens. You just gotta, you know, know your colds for where you are. I mean, that's just something to think about because we eat so much fast food that they know that they can put anything they want in that fast food because we're so accustomed to eating it, to eating it now. But I think men need to be men and women need to be women. I don't think that foods that we eat should try to change that structure in any way because of things that they're adding to it, like the additives and stuff. I just don't think that that's cool. Oh, wow. Did y'all see that? This is a 5G creates. Let me, let me, hold on. Let me just make sure I'm not tripping. I believe that's what that said. Let's see. Just to make sure. Okay, so this is a 5G small cell tower. The signals emitted by this tower are dangering to humans, animals, and plants. Now let's read what's circled here. And I'm gonna put it back up on the screen so you guys can see it as well. Heart issue. Flu-like symptoms, muscle and nerve system problems, fatigue, vision problems, headaches. I can't see what, I think it says insomnia, cognitive fog. It's like, we wanna become this fast paced world, but at what cost? What cost are we willing to, to do to have everything be faster? Or I just, I don't understand why we want to ruin our bodies. This is crazy. This is really crazy. It just doesn't make any sense to me. 
things you need to know about your toxic toilet paper, this is going to surprise you. One of the most toxic things that goes right into our bloodstream, and I'm going to give you a solution. Number one, the chlorine used to make this so pretty and white, yeah, poison, and it creates in the chemical reaction something called dioxins, extremely toxic, and there's one more problem. In that process, to make this paper stronger when it gets wet, yeah, they use formaldehyde. Okay, you know how toxic that is. Those three toxins alone make this one of the most dangerous darn things we use. Okay, I said I promised you a solution. The solution is now they're selling chlorine-free toilet paper, non-bleach toilet paper. That's the way you want to go. It's really not any more expensive. The way that they are hindering us is absolutely insane. Toilet paper, especially, I mean, us as females, we use toilet paper a lot more than other, than men. I mean, we have to wipe constantly. And it's like, that's crazy to know that that's such a hindrance for us. I mean, gosh, do we just need bidets? <laughs> Let's keep going. This is scary. Did you know that bread, there's actually like what? human hair and bread and bagels? It's disgusting. Specifically inside the bagels that we eat, there's a chemical called L-glistamine or something. If you don't believe me, listen to this. L-glistamine is an amino acid that is used to prolong shelf life in products such as commercial bread. It can also be found in ducks, chickens, cow horns, and more. But most of the chemicals that are used in shelf food comes from human hair. It gets even crazier. It has been reported most of the human hair to use the L-glistamine comes from China, which are gathered from barber shops and hair salons. It explains why when people make their own bread, it goes bad very quickly. Freshly made bread only lasts one or two days, but the processed bread lasts a lot longer, and that's why fresh bread also ends up tasting so much better as there is no chemicals in it. So next time you're eating bread from the supermarket, just think about all the hair you're eating. I love bread. I've always loved bread. But this is making me look at bread differently. I'm gonna have to start making my bread at home. You guys let me know in the comments, did you guys know that bread has hair in it? I mean, we need to go back to the 1920s, <laughs> 1930s. We need to start making stuff ourselves, my gosh. I can't be the only one who loves bread. But as always, guys, we made it to the end of another TikTok reaction video. I appreciate you guys so much. Please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye!